Hey friends, welcome back to Acre Homestead. My name's Becky and I'm heading off to my mom's house because we're going grocery shopping to prepare for Christmas. We gotta get a bunch of groceries so that we can do our big cooking day together that we like to do. But before we do that, I need to bring over two prime rib roasts that I have in the freezer. These are the prime rib roasts that I buy from a local rancher in my area and I have two of them. And we're gonna bring those and we're gonna have those for Christmas. I'm heading over to my mom's house now. I did take out a freezer meal before we left. I put that on the counter. I'm gonna let them thaw on the counter and then while I'm at my mom's, they'll just be thawing and then I get home, I'll be able to cook them up. That's usually how I like to cook them from a thawed steak because they cook a whole lot faster. Moving a little bit slow, it's 10 a.m. I was supposed to, well, I wasn't supposed to, we both can kind of be flexible on today. But I said I was gonna be there around nine and it's now 10. <laughs> we just got back from Idaho, my sister-in-law. She said yes, they got engaged if you watch the vlog where we got ready together for that trip. So let's head to my mom's house. We're gonna do a bunch of shopping. I'm gonna, we're gonna go over the whole menu we're gonna be doing together and we're gonna start getting ready for Christmas. I just got to my parents' house. My mom is putting the prime ribs in the refrigerator so they can thaw. Today is Tuesday and what day is Christmas on? Friday. Friday, is that Christmas or Christmas Eve? Christmas Eve. Okay, Christmas Eve. Yeah, we're celebrating here on Christmas Eve. Normally we do it the week before, but I was in Idaho, so we weren't able to do that. So you guys are going shopping. Yeah, we're going to Winco. It doesn't look like we have that much stuff we have to get. No, and nothing at Costco. My mom's grocery list, if you guys are interested in this, I will link it down below. My mom's just getting some coffee. Dad, what are you doing? Are you hanging out with us? I'll be around. Okay, we ready to go? Uh-huh. Awesome. So we're gonna head to Winco. We don't actually need to go to Costco this time. Good which morning. Is, which is kind of nice because Costco is a madhouse right now. But we do need to go to Winco and we are gonna go over the menu, what we're gonna make. We used to, growing up, we would have a ham every year for Christmas. And then my mom, I don't know, how many years ago was it? When you decided to do prime rib? Oh, um. It was at this house. Yes. So maybe five years ago. I think it was the first year we were here. So seven years yeah. ago. Yeah. Um. So about seven years ago, they did, my mom decided to start doing prime rib, which everybody absolutely loves, and we make a chimichurri sauce. It's like a herb, olive oil sauce. That I know what it was. It was the uh, Christmas after Sarah and Abel got married because their rehearsal dinner oh, that's was right. catered by um, some family friends and they made chimichurri sauce to serve with their prime rib and I'd never had it before. And it is it, good. Yes, so good. We said that's it for Christmas. <laughs> so we're doing the prime rib and the chimichurri sauce. Well, my brother-in-law does not like prime rib because he grew up eating a lot of beef. We didn't eat a lot of beef growing up. And so it's definitely like a special thing for us to have a prime rib. Well, certainly not a prime rib. We'd have a pot, Sunday pot roast now and then. Yeah. Or stew or hamburgers or something like but that. But it was expensive. But not a prime rib. Yeah. So my other brother-in-law, he grew up eating a lot of beef. So he doesn't actually like prime rib. And so we do a prime rib and a ham now because we grew up doing ham, which I do like ham sandwiches after Christmas. So it is kind of nice to do And both. the ham bowl and fursuit can't beat it. My mom usually buys a prime rib from Costco, but because I have a prime rib from the half a cow I bought, I decided to bring that. So we have two, but these prime ribs have bones in them. They're not huge bones, but they are bone in ribs. So we are going to have to look up some recipes. I've only cooked prime rib once and I way overcooked it. So we're going to have to do some research on how to cook these prime ribs with the bones in them. Yeah, I've only done it uh, boned and deboned. So yeah, deboned. Yeah, boned. Yep. Oh, okay, deboned. Yes, no bone. So we got all the way to Winco and we forgot the list. <laughs> I thought Becky had it because she was videoing it, but she must have set it down. Hey, are you still at home? Can you uh, bring us the grocery list? We left it on the counter, I think. Yep, we're at Winco. <laughs> <laughs> we can go to Penzies. Yeah, we wait? We'll, we'll go over to Penzies. That's a good idea. While you come here. Meet it. Yeah, uh, why don't you meet us at Penzies? Okay, thanks. <laughs> Bye. Every time we go grocery shopping, we have never made it out of the house without having to drive back. At least my dad this time can bring it back to us. The first time we did this, we rescued a little dog, and so we had to drive back so that we could put the dog in the house, and we did find the owner. Last time, oh, I forgot my, um, I forgot my camera. Or <laughs> <laughs> your battery the, or something. I forgot the USB. Oh, the, the USDS. I don't know, the card, the memory card. 
And then this time we forgot the grocery list. So <laughs> Penzi's is across the street from Winco's. You guys have never shopped at Penzi's. It's a spice company that has the best quality spices ever. Yeah, I do all my spices there generally it, um, because they have a little more exotic things than Winco. They have smoked paprika, they have smoked garlic, smoked onion. Um, they have roasted garlic powder. Yeah, so that's, that's what I mean, roasted. Yeah. Um, which Winco doesn't have. They are pretty, pretty basic in their spices. They're good and they're good prices, but I think that Azure is probably better, but I don't need a pound of parsley or a pound of <laughs> some of those other things. I'll take you inside and so you can see what it's like. My mom needed cinnamon for cinnamon rolls, and this was a whole cinnamon section. They had cinnamon from four different countries. That is one of the unique things about Penzi's is you can really taste the different varieties of a spice because they come from different countries and the different origins. I'm about to show you some different vanillas that they have. They had vanillas from all different countries, and you can really taste the difference. I have Mexican vanilla here too. Oh yeah, Max. remember the stuff Grandma yeah. bought? Oh man, that's a hundred dollars almost. I was getting inspiration as I was going through the spices of things I could make myself. This is vanilla sugar. And if you guys have ever watched Ina Garner, she always had vanilla beans in a jar of sugar. And she's definitely one of my biggest inspirations when it comes to cooking. She is my favorite cookbook author. And I thought I should make that sometime. And then I also was looking at this cocoa mix and I've never made homemade cocoa mix before and it looked pretty easy with the ingredients that were in there. Look at all the different types of paprika. There's California, Hungarian, smoked Spanish, which this is what I'm getting. Becky, I want you to know I took a Penzi order from you earlier, and all of that's in your stocking. I don't already. remember what was in it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't any of the things you picked up this time. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Every December, I call or text my daughters and daughter-in-law and get a Penzi order and fill their stocking. And then about uh, in July, when we're getting ready to have a big barbecue for the 4th of July, I do the same thing <laughs> because it's in my neighborhood and it's not in any of their neighborhoods. So um, then they can stock up on what they need. And it's the best spices for sure. It is very good. Well, $65 <laughs> later, I'll show you everything we got when we do the grocery haul. But we got some pretty good stuff. We got some nice freebies too. Yeah, for we $65. did. $65. My dad dropped off the list, so we're headed back to Winco. <laughs> Third time's the charm. We actually left the grocery list at Penzi's, so we had to go back to Penzi's to get the grocery list. So we're glad it's just basically across the street. <laughs> we're headed into Winco now. I'm picking out mushrooms. One thing to note when you're picking out mushrooms, if you pick them in bulk like this, you want to see how it's all closed up like that. That's a sign of a nice fresh mushroom. When they start to open, that means they're starting to dry out and they're a little bit older. So just note, look for mushrooms that have a nice closed cap.
We have this family dessert called Striped Delight that's a pudding dessert, which I'll show you how we make it. And I've made it from scratch making homemade pudding and everything, and they don't like it as much. So we do buy the pudding mix. I have to tell you a story. <laughs> this, this recipe, Becky won at the church bake off <laughs> on the 4th of July in the kids division, the blue, the blue ribbon for this striped delight. And it is a family favorite since then. Her daddy loves it. And yeah. all the sons-in-laws, that's their favorite. It is. Oh, that's side and on the top. Hey, and somebody asked how they fold up. They fold up this small for storage. You open it up. The bottom is solid. You close the solid. The solid bottom, the two sides are solid, but there's a seam in the middle. That's how it folds up small. Aren't those wonderful? They're great for camping. They're great for picnics. They're great for road trips. These are the ones that I used for the deep freeze when I organized and a couple people had asked about the how they fold up. I did find them on Amazon. These are at our local Winco grocery store so you might have them if you have a Winco near you. They only sometimes have them and so when they have them my mom went and bought me a bunch of them. I'm gonna drive because I am very prone to car sickness so we are gonna go. I think my dad's calling me and we're gonna go to lunch with him. We're gonna go through the whole grocery haul here. I know what some of the things are that we're gonna be having. My mom is printing out the actual entire menu. So as I go through the grocery haul, I'll let you know what they're for. But then when we're done with the grocery haul, we'll sit down and we'll talk about the entire Christmas menu. First off, we have our Penzi haul here. Most of this is for me, but some of it is actually for my mom. So this was a prime rib rub. We've never tried this before, but we're gonna put this on the prime rib we're cooking for Christmas. We just thought that sounded really good. This has all sorts of good things in it. Salt, celery, sugar, a specific type of black pepper, toasted onions, white onion, garlic, and arrowroot. So I think the arrowroot is to help with anti-caking. This cayenne is for me. I just like to actually sprinkle cayenne pepper on my food because I like really spicy food and I wanted a shaker one. So that is why I bought that. All of these are for me, except for this one. This is for my mom. She needed some more cinnamon to make for the cinnamon rolls. And Ceylon cinnamon is the highest quality cinnamon that actually has the most antioxidants in it. And that is what that is for. I don't think, Mom, you've ever tried that before, have you? Uh, I don't know. I bought cinnamon at Penzi's and I bought cinnamon at Winco. Cinnamon at Penzi's is definitely better than cinnamon at Winco. I bought the sumac for me. I've never bought sumac before, but I thought I would give it a try. That was kind of an impulse buy. I don't have any chipotle powder at my house. If you guys have never tried chipotle powder, it is so good, along with smoked paprika. I did just order through Amp. I did just order through Azure a paprika, but they didn't carry smoked paprika, so I wanted to get a smoked paprika as well. And then this sounded really good. I've been craving curries. And so Vindaloo, I believe it's a curry. And I wanted to try to make curry with this spice blend. This has a bunch of really good things in it. Coriander, garlic, cumin, ginger, cinnamon, mustard, cayenne, pepper, jalapeno, cardamom, turmeric, black pepper, and cloves. So that just sounded like a really good curry. If you spent $10, you got a free bundle. They always give free stuff out. And this was definitely a really good bundle they gave out this time. So this just has a bunch of stuff in it. I've had this seasoning before and it's really good. I've had their Cajun seasoning and it's really good, but I haven't had a lot of these other ones. This one is my favorite. Oh, um, is it? Cauliflower roasted. Ooh. It's got a little bit of cumin, a little bit of paprika. It's very good. Oh, ancho pepper. Yeah, it's really good on, on uh, uh, cauliflower. And broccoli. Which one? This one on chicken. Oh. And this one is Sarah's all-time favorite. No, yeah. Emily's. Emily's. Oh. Emily and Brad's favorite. We were just reading the ingredients on all of these spices, and they all sound really good. This one is Bavarian, and it says it has crushed brown mustard, rosemary, garlic, thyme, bay leaves, and sage. So they do a lot of blends, and that's mostly what this is. But their bread and butter is definitely just their single spices. So when you get the free pack, it's kind of cool to try a bunch of different things. You guys know that I do most of my shopping through spices at Azure because it's a great price to buy organic spices and they don't radiate because some 
uh, like McCormick's and stuff like that radiate the spices, but the quality of Penzi's is my favorite and it's definitely the best, but it is pricey. We spent $65 for all of this. And so I can't afford to buy all my spices through them, but I do enjoy getting them occasionally. And the, like, yeah, mostly, mostly through my stocking. I usually actually don't pay for my own Penzi spices. My mom usually buys them for me, but just some of them I can't get through Azure, so I decided to buy them, and they're really, really, really good. Now we're gonna do the grocery haul. We got some eggs, and my chickens are starting to lay again a little bit, but definitely not like they were, so we gotta get some eggs for some different recipes. Some lemons, these are for the crab cakes. We're gonna do some roasted beets, so that is why we got the beets, and we are gonna make green bean casserole from scratch this year. We always make green bean casserole from scratch, but at Thanksgiving, we decided to opt out of it because it was kind of, we we just decided not to have it. And my sister was pretty disappointed <laughs> that we didn't have green bean casserole. So we don't usually have green bean casserole at Christmas, but because we didn't have it at Thanksgiving, we're gonna have it at Christmas. So we'll show you how to make that from scratch and it is really, really, really good. Some onions for different recipes. We have three cilantros and two parsley. These are all for the chimichurri. I cannot wait to show you guys what that is like. It is so good. Oh, is that what that is for too? Uh -huh. And the oregano's for the chimichurri as well. We're gonna make a pecan pie. My mom has the best pecan pie recipe, so that's what this is for. Some celery for different recipes and some vegetable plate. Vegetables for vegetable plates, so celery, cucumber, carrot. The green onions, is that for the chimichurri too? Uh, the green onions is are for the crab cakes, as is a small amount of red pepper, and then the red pepper goes on the vegetable plate. Oh, perfect. Mushrooms to make the homemade cream of mushroom soup for the green beans. Some gluten-free crackers for my sister. That's for the crab cakes. I misspoke, the, the crackers, the gluten-free crackers are actually for the crab cakes, so my sister who's gluten-free can eat the crab cakes, which that's a really smart way to do that. My nephews have some allergies, so we're gonna make some allergen-friendly hummus, sour cream for a couple different recipes, and cream of chicken soup for our cheesy potatoes. I do make all of my cream of mushroom and cream of chicken soup from scratch most of the time, but one time a year, I do buy Campbell's cream of chicken soup, and we make my aunt's Cheesy potatoes, they are so good. They are so good and I don't want to mess with the recipe so that is why we bought Campbell's cream of chicken soup even though I don't even want to look at the ingredients. Don't do it. Don't do don't it. Don't yeah, do we're not it. gonna do it. <laughs> but we do like homemade cream of mushroom soup for the green bean casserole. My mom thought we were going to make the cream of chicken soup for the, for the cheesy potatoes as well. But I said, no mom, we cannot mess with the recipe. We are gonna have the Campbell's cream of chicken soup for the cheesy potatoes. That goes along with these crescent rolls. We do not eat these crescent rolls at all, except for at Christmas time. We're gonna wrap some of the Smokies in crescent rolls and that just tastes really good. And that's why we bought that. Mayonnaise for the dipping sauce for the crab cakes. Then we have our striped to light pudding dessert. Cranberries, because my mom wants to make a cranberry dessert that goes along with these puff pastries. We need your cream cheese for the striped delight and for what else? Oh, that's it. Heavy whipping cream for homemade whipped cream for the pecan pie and, and for striped delight and the green bean casserole. Milk to make the pudding. Butter, cheese for the cheesy potatoes. And then we have a bunch of beverages. My mom is gonna make a cranberry ginger punch and then some Coke for the boys. Carbonated water for the rest of us. And my brother-in-law really likes lemonade. So now my mom's gonna sit down and we're gonna go through the entire menu because I don't even know exactly what the whole menu is. When I do a big party, I start out with the number of guests so I know how many I'm feeding and I keep in mind, do I need a high chair, do I need wheelchair access, uh, special needs, things like that. This year it's only gonna be 13 people plus one high chair. Then our uh, hors d'oeuvres are pigs in a blanket that Becky mentioned and I'm going to do a gluten-free pigs in the blanket because I've got some little grandsons that would love it and my other daughter is going to make some gluten-free Puff pastry. Uh, yes, dairy-free, gluten-free puff pastry. It is available, but I think it's on a container ship somewhere out to sea. Then we're gonna do crab cakes. I've got a really good crab cake recipe. It's the I've made various crab cakes over the years. This now is my favorite one. I will not make anything else. I'm gonna keep with this one. It's got like the, the, the red pepper and um, yummy stuff in it. And the crabs are from, we caught the crabs and my mom shelled them. And so we didn't have to buy crab because we have the crab. Yes, uh, and then we always do a vegetable pick, pickle plate because 
everybody just likes that. Yeah. And then we're gonna do prime rib. Becky's bringing the prime rib. My son-in-law's doing the ham. Uh, he does a honey and maple glaze in it's really good. Uh, on the Traeger. And then chip chimichurri sauce. So it looks like the sides we're gonna do are the cheesy potatoes, green bean casserole, roasted beets. I'm gonna bring some more rolls that I made that are in the freezer, and this time I'm going to make them correctly. We will thaw them a lot earlier in yeah. the day. We did not give them, what we probably should do is overnight in the fridge. Yes. That's what we'll do, because I did not. we did not get them out of the refrigerator in time. Then for dessert, we're gonna do Strike Delight, which is the pudding recipe. We're gonna do, oh, gluten-free Strike Delight, pecan pie, whipped cream, cranberry pinwheels, and cranberry, oh. Gluten-free cranberry pinwheels with the, with the puff pastry my other daughter's making. It, so that the allergy grandkids can... So they can have the same desserts as us. A lot of times we have to make special desserts for them. And so it's kind of exciting that mm -hmm. they're gonna be able to have two of the same desserts that we eat and they don't have to have you know, their own special dessert. And I think that's everything. So I think we're gonna put all this away and we're gonna head to lunch with my dad. Well, let's go to lunch. Let's go. I just got home. It took me about an hour and 10 minutes to get home because we sat and ate lunch for quite some time, which basically it was dinner because I think we started eating around three. And so I kind of left lunch at a bad time to get home to avoid traffic. So that was basically my dinner, but I have pumpkin pasta here that I'm unwrapping. Oh yeah, that's still kind of frozen. Not, I mean, yeah, it's, it's frozen. So I turn the oven on to 400, sometimes I do 350, sometimes I do 375, it's a little bit different every time. I took the saran wrap off and I'm gonna keep the foil on and I'm gonna stick this in the oven just like this. And I'm gonna stick it in even though the oven's only at 100, it's not preheated yet, I'm not worried about that. It'll probably be in there for at least an hour because it's still a little bit frozen. And then this will be my husband's dinner. And I'm gonna let that cook until it starts bubbling around the outside. And then I take the foil off and I let it brown on the top. And if the pasta and the casserole looks like it's warmed all the way through and it still needs to brown on the top and I don't want to wait any longer, then I usually just put it on to broil and broil it. There's no actual like science, like this is how much time. You just kind of have to play it by ear. And if it gets done and you're not ready to eat, then sometimes I just turn the oven off and leave it in there. I just put some comfy clothes on and I'm drinking a little bit of Airborne since we were traveling. <laughs> and I was thinking as I was changing, you know, probably why I tend to sometimes burn things is because I don't have a scientific method or a proven time on cooking things that, you know, I should probably be better at that, but I'm not, so it is what it is. Ooh, not my favorite stuff, but it's always good to try to get a little bit of vitamin C after being on an airplane. I took the foil off and I think it's done. I've been sitting by the fire having a cup of tea for the last half an hour, just kind of relaxing and dinner's done. And just like that, dinner's done. I do have some salad green mix in the refrigerator, so I'll pull that out. We'll just have a quick salad along with our pumpkin pasta. That's what this is. I don't even know if I mentioned earlier that we're eating pumpkin pasta. It's one of my favorite, favorite recipes. It's actually my mother-in-law's original recipe, and if you want this recipe, it'll be linked down in the description box at scratchpantry.com. I can't wait for Thursday. Today is Tuesday. I don't know if I mentioned that either, that today's Tuesday, and on Thursday, my mom and I are gonna prep all the food, and then, then we're gonna celebrate on Friday, which is Christmas Eve. If you wanna actually see me make this pumpkin pasta, I can leave a video right here where we made it together. Also right here, if you wanna see the inside of my freezer, where we do an entire tour, I can show you that one as well. I hope you guys enjoy that. I wanna say a huge thank you for every one of you who took time out of your day to spend time with me. If you're new around here, please consider subscribing. I hope you guys are having a great day and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye guys.